Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Special Projects replica build for you today, and this time it's for the higher performance variant of the 7th generation Corvette, the Z06. Now this car of course is not featured on the game, the C7 Stingray is, but not the Z06, and I personally feel and predict that this is probably going to be a car which will be included in Gran Turismo 7, based on of course how successful and popular the C7 Stingray has been on GT6. Overall, it's one of the best sports cars in the game. So I feel pretty certain that the Z06 will probably be included on GT7. We may even get it on GT6. I personally think that's unlikely, but I feel pretty strongly that it will be on GT7. However, for those of you who can't wait until then, you can of course build a replica of the car using the existing Stingray on GT6. And as it happens, you can actually make a pretty good replica of this car, both visually and performance-wise. So, as always, I'll show you first of all how I've got the visual look of the car, which in the case of this one is pretty simple. Then, of course, we'll go to the garage for the mechanical setup, and finally out to the track to see how it performs. So, as I said, the visual look of this car is actually pretty easy to attain. We've gone for the Type B body kit, which gives you, of course, the carbon fibre chin splitter and side skirts that give it much more of that Z06 aggressive look. There is a flat floor, but I wouldn't recommend fitting that because it doesn't look very visually accurate. Plus, it also reduces your top speed. Of course, you could fit it, but it, it doesn't really look like a Z06. For the rear wing, we've left the standard lip wing. And for the rims... We've gone for the standard size, and we've gone for the BBS REMG rims, which look pretty similar to the real Z06 rims. You can't get exact replicas of them, of course, but they're not far off. There are no additional meters for this car. Now, for the body color, I've obviously gone for yellow, as the Z06 has predominantly been shown in. But the yellow that I've gone for is actually Velocity Yellow, which comes with the car to begin with. As far as the rim colour, I've gone for metallic black, and the particular black I've gone for is Grigio Granito. Not sure if that's how you pronounce that, probably not. And that comes from the Maserati Gran Turismo, which has a kind of a metallic-y, greyish black look to it, which just sits well with the colour of the body. And unfortunately, you cannot paint the brake calipers on this particular model. So, as I said at the start of the video, Pretty simple visual look for this car. So now, of course, let's go over to the garage for the mechanical setup. So for the mechanical setup on this particular model, obviously this is a street-based replica, so I've gone for sports soft tyres. For the suspension, we've got the ride height on 100, which may sound pretty high, but that actually sits really well compared to the real Z06. Springs have increased a little bit to 750 and 825, Dampers and anti-roll to 4. Camber quite low on 1, again to give it that authentic street car feel. Neutral tow as usual. For the gearbox we've got an auto setting of 205, then we've rounded off the individual gears to 3.6, 2470, 1830, 1410, 1130, 940 and 810 with a final drive of 3.2. For the diff, we've got halfway on initial torque, so that you can spin up the wheels a little bit to have fun with it. Acceleration on 40, braking on 20. For the power, we do, I believe, if I remember correctly, have an oil change on this one. I'm not certain of that, though. I'm not certain of that, so just check that against yours. But we've got the Stage 3 engine tune and the supercharger, and then the power we've reduced down to 98.2% to bring us up to the same horsepower of 650 as the real Z06. We do not have any weight reduction on this one, and we've actually made it heavier by 98 kilos, which brings us up to, again, the exact weight of the real Z06. And incidentally, that brings it up to a pretty competitive 577 pp. And it is actually really good at that level. So, now let's finally go out to the track to see how it performs. Now, as I've said with most of my road-based replicas before, this is designed predominantly to be visually accurate to the car and to be as fun as possible to drive, not necessarily to win races. Now, as it happens, 
It is a pretty competitive car, as I mentioned, at its PP level, but that's not what it's designed for. It's just designed to be the kind of car that you can pull out for, say, car shows or cruises, or just to throw it around the track for a bit of fun, just to feel like what a Z06 could feel like if it were on the game. And the performance is very strong, as you'd expect, the Stingray already is a fast car, so the Z06 would be even more so. And overall, it's a very fun car to drive. I'm a huge fan of the Corvette in general, the C7 especially so, and I'm very happy with this replica. So, for those of you guys who do decide to use this replica, I hope you find it, of course, fun and potentially competitive if you do use it for racing. And that's it for this build. So I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.